check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. What's up, everybody? Quan here, back at you with another video. So today, guys, we're back at home with the Tonal Home Gym. About to hit a chest workout for you guys. I haven't done a chest workout on this channel for you guys, tonal-wise or cable-wise, in about two months. So I want to tell you guys what I've been doing on my tonal lately just to get my chest full and pumped, getting that, that size, you know? I'm um, just trying to be a little goofy with you guys, trying to keep you guys engaged. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for getting me to 40,000 subs and working with me, man. This has been something that's been a really great outlet for me. I work a full-time job, and it's nice to come home and be able to make videos and have a good time and just you know, bomb with you guys, your messages, your comments, they do not go unnoticed. I try to get back to everyone when I can. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. So we're hitting chest today, upper, lower, we're hitting some bench press. And also for those of you guys who are fans of Tonal, I will be maxing out the Tonal today, going for the max weight. It goes up to 200 pounds of resistance, but it feels way heavier than that. So we're gonna see how many reps I can get at the end of the workout. I have a timestamp at the bottom, it's gonna show you the workout and then show you the max out if you wanna see that. That's all you're here for, that's perfectly fine with me. Let's keep grinding, let's keep pushing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, turn on post notifications, because guys, we're chilling, we're at 40K mark, I'm, not sure, I'm very thankful for. Let's get to 50K by the beginning of next year, that'd be awesome. I'll keep making these workouts for you if you share them and comment and turn on those notifications for me. And also don't forget to click the link down below for some supplements. Transparent Labs is my sponsor. I love those guys, they make great pre-workout protein. Click down below to get you some as well. And um, get you an online program if you'd like. Other than that, let's get to this workout. Let's go. Yeah. Uh. Hey, hey, it's Who you gonna call it? Get rich. Who the man breaking all the wins? If you think you ball, it's all you get dunked on. All right, team. So we're gonna get started with our flat bench press. We're gonna hit about 12 reps here. I've actually already done a few sets, so I'm really excited to get through this one. It's gonna be fun. So we're gonna challenge ourselves a little bit. So we're gonna increase the weight. I'm a big fan of challenging yourself with the weight because of the tonal's mechanisms for you know, bailing you out if you need a little help. So we're gonna like this out real quick. We're gonna get, like I said, 12 reps in and move on. Remember to drive at those elbows, squeezing your chest as you explode up until you build that nice, developed chest, all right? So we're gonna get in here and get started. I always slide into the press. Make sure the weight isn't on yet. Lean back. And I use the button option here. Push the button to turn it on. Weight's engaging in that good, clean position. And we're gonna explode up. We got 12 reps here. Keep that core tight and slow through. Use your power here. When you first start doing tonal bench press, you're gonna feel that the weight, you're gonna feel a little bit of instability, but it'll make you better in the long run. One more. All right, just disengaged. All right, remember, we're doing three to four sets of everything, all right? So now we're gonna move on to our next exercise. We're getting it going though. Hope you guys are liking it. So now we're gonna move on to our incline fly. We're gonna do another about 12 to 15 reps here. We'll be coming up, squeezing that chest so we can get that nice upper chest region developed. Really blow it up up here, coming up, squeeze. All right, we got 12 reps. I'll leave the bench here because I actually like leaving the bench down below me. It kind of helps me space my legs out. So I have one leg on one side, one on the other. I space myself out a bit. So we're gonna lean down here. I find myself not going too heavy with tonal for some reason. I, I like the tension is so consistent that you don't need a lot of weight to get um, like maximum effort. Really feel that squeeze, folks. Squeeze at the top, feel that blood flow. You know you got it right. Ooh wee. Four to go, folks. One more good one. I like to get a little hold. Four, three, two, one, bang. Whew. All right. You're really gonna start to feel that when you see my pump coming in, the blood flow's crazy. I really like that standing incline fly. I feel like you can really feel that upper chest develop. And one of the reasons you really wanna get a nice developed upper chest is because it really helps your shirts fit better, especially a lot of us, you know, put the shirt on your back and the upper chest develop. It's that nice silhouette, that Superman look. Um, but anyone who wants to develop their chest, upper chest is crucial, guys. Don't just focus on down here. Get some of that up here going. All right, so we're back down here. 
we're about to hit our alternating flat bench press. So the key is gonna be we're gonna hold it up, keep in tension on one side as we go down. One arm is up at all times, so we're not resetting and holding at the bottom. This is crucial to develop your chest. I really like those, how you can isolate each side. We all know every body part, one is bigger than the other, right? So I feel like doing that isolation work is a great way to try to even out that ratio. So we're doing 10 reps on each side, 20 total reps here. We're gonna blast through it. Remember, three to four sets of everything, folks. Control the weight, take your time, and you won't have any problems. Let's get to work. Don't be afraid to go a little heavy here either. All right, weights engage. Both arms are up. Make sure your both arms are up before you engage the weight. I like to watch the tonal screen as I'm doing this to make sure I'm not going too fast, getting full range of motion. You're upside down, but you still know how to read the metrics. Four more folks, we're almost there. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, oh man. That's always a tough one folks. So now my chest is really feeling it. Remember with this workout, we're only doing six exercises, three to four sets of everything. But if you're maxing out, by maxing out I mean doing as much weight as you can on the higher reps, you're gonna feel it in set three, four, and five. This is set three for me on everything and I'm already getting pretty taxed. But now it's time to move on to our standing incline press. This one's a doozy. Let's see it. All right, so now we're moving on to a standing incline fly. So you know with Tonal, we don't have an adjustable bench. So one of my favorite movements is the nice standing incline fly. You get your one foot behind you, lean forward, and you press up and out almost at a 45 degree angle. So we're not shoulder pressing here. We're pressing out like a 45 degree angle, okay? This one's a little tough, requires a lot of patience. I actually typically go super light on this one. So we're only gonna have like 17 to 18 pounds on here just because it's about the form and engaging those muscles here. All right, you're still challenging yourself, but all about engagement. All right, the weight just turned on, press out. Keeping those elbows neutral, squeezing that chest. Ooh, I'm already tired. Well, about 12 to 15 reps here. Almost there. One more. Hold. Boom, bring it down. Remember to keep your core engaged on every movement, folks. Really good way to keep that body going. Really feel that squeeze, all right? Now we're gonna go into a decline fly, really hitting that lower chest. We're gonna finish things off with an elevated push up. So we're cruising. And then I got that surprise for you guys. I said in the intro, we're gonna do the max bench press test. See how many times we can hit the max weight here on our tonal, all right? Let's finish this workout strong and have some fun. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself. All right, now we're moving on to decline flies, okay? We're gonna go 12 reps here. Again, not crazy weight. We're just gonna get this out here. I don't turn the weight on until I already have it down. Now it's on, boom, squeeze that chest. Nice and controlled here, boom. Feel your chest ball up at the bottom, nice and controlled. Get that full range of motion. And when I say full range of motion, go until you feel that chest Open up at the top and crush it on down. Squeeze nice and hard here. Breathe, folks. I think we've only got like a couple reps left. Come on, about 12 reps here. One more for good measure. Hold, squeeze, keep that core tight. Hold it and bring it up. Go ahead and disengage as you get midway up so you don't put too much stretch in your shoulder or your joint here. Now we're gonna move on to these push-ups, all right? 30 seconds, incline push-ups, crushing it. Let's go. All right, folks, now we're here. Gonna hit these push-ups to finish, these decline push-ups. We're gonna knock it out strong, guys, let's go. We got a timer going, boom. Up and down, nice and controlled. Feel that chest. Try to give me about 20 to 25 here. I know your chest is already tired, but these push-ups matter. Use the tonal behind you, I might use the tonal to have a nice timer for you so you can get all those reps in. All right, we got about 10 seconds left. Squeezing it. Ooh, it's a good one. Oh, I gotta max out of this, it's gonna be tough. Bang. All right, so that concludes the workout. If you made it this far, you know what time it is. We're gonna try to hit that max weight on the tonal today. Try to see how many times we hit that 200 pounds. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you've ever used a tonal before, you know the bench press doesn't feel normal, okay? So you have to do a weight 
you know, work your way up because that 200 feels like something else to me. So we're gonna keep pushing. As you can see, Blue is wants his attention. It's fine. He's just, you know, doing his thing. He's the cutest little boy. Hi, buggy. All right, so let's knock these out. Let's finish strong and wrap up this video. I appreciate you guys joining me so far. Let's see how much weight we can push on this tunnel today. Yeet. All right, this is the closing of the workout, guys. Chest feeling good, feeling pumped. Got that side light, so I'm over here like, me, me, me. you know, having fun. Uh, that flex was just kind of pointless and dumb. I'm just having a good time with you guys. So now we're gonna do the max out for tonal test. It's gonna be tough. Hope you guys are ready. Remember, tonal is not a joke. Maxing out on this thing is not easy, all right? So we're gonna go to 200 pounds, see how many reps we can get. I wanna go for at least three. I've done more in the past, but I'm tired. This is post-workout, end of the workout. Kind of some entertainment for you guys for rocking with me and being here with me. Max out on the tonal. Remember everything we did, three to four sets of everything. Take your time, you can do a circuit style like this or pair things up for supersets. And if you're doing something like this at a different gym, take your time, make the workouts or the movements match up. Make sure you go up each set and let's have some fun. Let's grow this chest. Max out time, baby. All right, I know y'all can see from there, I got that HD going, so we're gonna max this bad boy out. I'm gonna grab the, the dial wants to let me touch it today. All right, we're maxed out at 200, folks. 200, folks. We're here, You're gonna be able to, you should be able to see the weight behind me. All right, yep, you can definitely see it. All right, guys, it's 200 pounds total, max weight. Weight engaged, okay. Oh yeah, it always feels like it's crushing you. And we're, oh. All right, that's one. Oh. 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 All right, it says one, but that was two. Sheesh, that was tough, guys. That's what the max weight on tonal looks like. Whew, I don't have a code or anything for you guys. I don't work for Tonal, but I really love using this home gym, man. It really is great for days like this where I'm super slammed and busy. Allows me to make a quick video while also maintaining my balance with work. If you guys want to know what my morning routine is like with my job and stuff, go ahead and click up here. I'm filming right now um, a day in the life so you guys can see what my full day is like. So this is us wrapping it up. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Stay tuned for more workouts, tonal workouts, cable, dumbbell, barbell. We're going to keep dropping new content for you guys. I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thanks for all the love, support, and help. And let's keep growing together, guys, all right? Comment your favorite movement down below. Click the links down below for online training. Get you some subs. And I uh, appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, folks.